Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. For those who read the title, um, the answer is yes. For those who did not read the title, the title of this video is, Does God Kill Babies? And the answer to that is yes. Obviously, we are going down a dark path, a very dark path tonight, and a very important one at that. Coming out of 2 Samuel, I'm going to start at verse 13. Because we already heard yesterday how... Uh, how Nathan rebuked Daniel for his sin in regards to committing adultery with Bathsheba and then killing her husband. So, Nathan, so 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 13, So David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said to David, The Lord also has put away your sin. You shall not die. However, because by this deed you have given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme, the child also who is born to you shall surely die. Then Nathan departed to his house, and the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bore to David, and it became ill. And the Lord struck the child. God killed a baby. Uh, we don't know how old exactly the baby was. We don't know how many weeks or months transpired um, between the time that the baby was born and Nathan gave out this warning. But it was a baby. And, um, <laughs> that it, it bugs me how a lot of the preachers out there that talk about, you know, David's adultery and David's murder, either they read this part of the story real quick and you don't really, they don't think about it, they don't reflect upon it, much less give their congregation time to think or reflect upon it. But on top of that, sometimes it's completely overlooked and not mentioned at all. And it's very important to mention, well, everything in the Bible, but and may, maybe it's a cultural thing. Maybe it's because the sanctity of human life is ingrained in me as an American. But, yeah, to kill a baby, that's incredibly serious. And what I want to do, the primary focus of this little Bible lesson, and it, will, and it will be little, I'm going to try to, I'm really going to try to keep these under three to four minutes. I, I've been going over a lot recently. I'm going to try to stop that. The simple answer is yes, God killed the baby. And I will add to that, God was not unjust or unfair or unrighteous in doing so. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we're going to skip all the way to the New Testament because the New Testament actually explains what happened here. And the New Testament doesn't, I, it doesn't shy away from the things that the Old Testament did and the things God did. It doesn't, it does, even though some of the laws may have changed, God's character does not. He's still in control. He, he still sends people to hell. He is still brutal. The God of the Old Testament is the God of the New Testament. There's no separating the two or making them into two different beings or two different gods. They're one and the same. So 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22, For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. As in Adam all die. Now, you're only in Christ if you become a Christian. Um, we're all born in Adam. Adam being the first man, the first human and in him we all die because he sinned. We all die in Adam. And to reiterate that, in Romans chapter 5, starting at verse 12, Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because all sinned. And we're all born in Adam. We're all born in sin. Therefore, all are born to death. And that includes the... That's why, theologically speaking, abortion is even possible. You know, I, I think most people would say, well, you know, a baby hasn't sinned. Um, a small child hasn't sinned. They don't even know what that is yet. Well, they may not consciously, actively know what it is, but they are still sinners by nature and by birth because their parents, us, are sinners. Therefore, because they are conceived in sin, they can die in the womb and very quickly outside of the womb, such as stillborns, such as, um, I forget the exact name of it, but it's like instant, 
instant infant death syndrome. That's not correct. But it's a syndrome where, the, um, like a crib death where a baby just stops breathing. You, you go in the next day and the baby's just dead for absolutely no reason at all. Um, and people to, and um, doctors to this day don't know exactly what that is. The theory is that for the most part, just like for some reason, they just stop breathing. Like in their sleep, their brain doesn't, doesn't unconsciously continue to tell the body to breathe. So they just stop breathing and thus they die. That's one theory. I haven't looked into it very much. Um, sudden infant death syndrome, that might be right. Either way, since we're all born into sin, we all can die at any time after being born. And because we're born in sin, God is not unjust if he takes the life of a child or a baby or um, an embryo in a mother's womb. It is well within God's jurisdiction to take any and all human life, to create or to destroy, to plant or to uproot. And since we're all sinners, it's not like any of us can really object to the point of death even the very youngest, even the very smallest. That's an incredibly tough pill to swallow. But it was there. It was in the next chapter. There's so much I could have talked about. A lot easier topics to talk about than that, but I, I felt the Lord wanted me to talk about this big one right here. And so if, if enough commentary comes in, I can do a more elongated, more elaborate version of this for a Sunday message. But th those are the bare bones essentials for that. So God, did God kill that baby? Yes. Was he just um, in, in doing so? Yes, he is the righteous judge. And since we're all born in sin, and since all humans, in fact all creation, falls under God's jurisdiction, he's not unjust to take the life of a sinner. The one thing I'll add to the very end of that, let me open this back up, is in 2 Samuel chapter 12, Going to verse 23, this is David talking, but now he, the child, is dead. Why should I fast? Can I bring him back? Can him bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. And on that note, there is a degree, there is a point at which when a child dies, they do not go to hell. They just simply go back to heaven. Or not that they not that they there was a pre existence in heaven, I'm not saying that. But my thought is, you know, God created them. God just knit them together in their mother's womb. So and it's a brand new life. God just made it, and God just immediately takes that life back. That was the thought behind what I just said. So heavy subject. By all means, leave comments in the description below. If you want me to do a full 30-minute sermon on this, I will be more than happy to do a bit more research. I may not be able to do it this Sunday, but um, and not <laughs> my preaching videos get a lot of views at the moment. But, you know... When you see this video, um, and in some future thing, some future message you've seen this, maybe not leave the message in this particular video, but in whatever recent message I've done, say, hey, Brandon, go back and address that, would you? And I will give it very strong consideration, um, considering however many requests I may get at the time when the, my preaching videos get a little bit more popular and a bit more views. So thank you guys for those of you who did watch this. I love you, and God bless.